Welcome to the channel. In this video we're going to cover how to calculate steps or rotational distance. I'll cover both Marlin and Clipper formulas so once we're done you should have an accurate extruder. In order to do this you're going to need a few tools. You'll need a caliper or a ruler in millimeters, a marker, don't use tape, a serial interface to send g-codes. A calculator is also helpful. In short, we're going to tell the extruder to extrude a set amount of filament and then we're going to measure how much it actually extruded. So let's get started with that. First you need to ensure that your printer has filament and it's loaded and purged through the nozzle. Basically you should be able to just start printing. Next, we're going to measure and mark 70 millimeters of filament from the entrance to the extruder. It doesn't matter if it's a Bowden setup or direct drive. Just find the extruder entrance where the filament goes in and measure from there 70 millimeters. Again, don't use tape because if your extruder is way off, it'll pull that tape in. Now that we've got it marked, we need to heat up our hot end. Use whatever normal temperature you print at for this filament. For me, that's 200 C. I'm doing this inside a main cell, but you could use your printer LCD, Octoprint, whatever it is to heat up your hot end. So while this is warming, let me note that since we're pushing filament through the hot end, we need to do it slowly. Don't just tell your printer to load filament or move the extruder as those things tend to do it quickly. And we don't want back pressure or anything like that to play a part in our numbers. We want it to go really slow. So this is where we're going to do it via G codes. So keep all that in mind. That's why you need to use like Bronterface or the Octoprint terminal. Or in my case, I'll be using the console through main sale, something like that. But once it's warmed up, and it takes a little while to warm up, we'll enter in our G codes. We'll start with a G91, which puts the extruder in relative mode. Again, G91. Then we're going to enter in G1, E50, F60. This tells the printer to extrude 50 millimeters of filament at a feed rate of 60 millimeters per minute. So it's going really slow. And once you've entered those commands, you should see the printer start extruding filament. If you don't, stop here, go back, make sure your filament's loaded all the way to the nozzle. But again, you should see filament coming out now. It's going to go slow. It could take a minute or so for it to extrude the 50 millimeters. Just wait for the movement to stop. Once that's done, once everything's finished, then we need to go back and we need to measure how much is left. So measure to your mark again. If your measurement's 20 millimeters, good job, you're done, your extruder is fine, you don't have to do anything else. If it isn't like me, you know, I got a different value. I got 18.85, then we're going to have to do some math here. And these are the formulas I'll go over. So 
For these formulas, you're going to need to know your existing steps per millimeter, or you're going to need to know your rotational distance if you're running Clipper like I am. Just open your printer config for Clipper. Just pull that out. For me, it's 32.135. For Marlin, you can go and look under configuration, advanced steps per millimeter. But the first thing we need to do is we need to figure out how much we have left. And to do that, we just take our mark distance and subtract our remaining distance. And that'll give us our actual extrude distance. For me, it's 51.15. And I'll put these formulas in the description. Now for the math of it, this is the formula for clipper, which is rotational distance equals previous rotational distance times actual extrude distance divided by requested extrude distance. So we plug in those values. Again, for me, 32.135 times 51.15 divided by 50 equals 32.874. That's my new rotational distance. I would then go and put that into my printer config and then restart Clipper. For those of you that are using Marlin, there's a, a little bit of a different formula. It, it's not much different, but it is a little different. For Marlin, the formula is previous E-steps divided by actual extrude distance divided by requested extrude distance. So, and again, using my values, you get 93 divided by 51.15 divided by 50. So if I were running Marlin, 93 is the normal, what you're going to start with for your steps on your extruder. Generally speaking, I would get 90.909. Once you've got all that, save your new settings. And then you're going to need to measure and mark another 70 millimeter section and run the G1 E50 F60 again. If for whatever reason it doesn't come out with 20 millimeters left over the second time you do it, go back and check your math. Try the whole process again. For me, second time was a charm. It's a little over, but I'll live with it. It's close enough. Happy printing.